Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. Why do you care so much about Talk Dog's stuff? I was just... I was just wondering, okay? I'm, I'm a curious person. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I don't know, maybe? Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Please, I'm not scared. I faced way worse than some creepy house. Yeah, maybe we should try to be a bit more courageous here. That's the spirit. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um... He was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? 
prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know... But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why, uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Sparkles! Everyone stop moving. There could be more traps. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. One of you has the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. He's back. The White Pumpkin's back. Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A White Pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin is toying with us. He set up this whole house as a trap, and now he's just watching us get snared in it. 
Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Lizzie. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having gone through all the evidence, I'm leaning towards Dan right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's just way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is nuts. I'm not the white pumpkin. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. The White Pumpkin, he's in there! Then let's go kick his butt! Yeah! What, what on earth? What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way!
soul sand? This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> then here. No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the white pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, I was mostly joking. Yes, that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Petra, grab her, quick! Oh, help! Hey, let go! You're not going anywhere, murderer! Uh, uh. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie said she recognized us even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh, I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? 
This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. Always the quiet ones. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! I'll... And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Oh, please. I've gotten out of way worse than this, Cassie. Huh. I admire your bravado. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Oh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Why don't you just go find your own? Have you not been paying attention at all? That's what I've been trying to do for years! Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> what? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me the key, Jesse! No! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? Tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. No. <laughs> no we are going home. No. 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 You can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine. I won't let you have it! No! No, Winslow! Don't touch that! No, 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 Winslow! Bad kitty! Stop it! Winslow! Good boy! Sweet kitty! Bring that to Master! Please, bring it to Master! Don't do that! Here, kitty, kitty! Here, kitty, kitty! No! No! Ah, there you are! After all this time, I am free! 
so? We have to go! What have I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> Netherrack, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Winslow! Winslow, come on! Oh, I love it. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck! What did you say? You heard me, cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. Ah! Ah! What's going? Ah! I've got it! Excellent! I did it! You're all dying now! Uh, no, thank you! Got it! Proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... my only friend. Please. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! 